pondered what qualities have some of our favorite teachers had. Many of us reflected on our past educators using adjectives like patient, caring, credible, and invested in their students' learning. When I think about how students will remember me, I want them to think I made a difference in their academic and professional lives. My main goal as a teacher is to promote curiosity in my students and to give them critical thinking skills that they can use for life. In my classes, I want to use an inquiry-based learning approach that encourages students to ask questions and to formulate new approaches to solve problems. I find that long lectures that throw information at students are overwhelming, ineffective, and just don't get students interested in the learning process. Outside the classroom, students aren't passively listening to someone speak at them all day, so why should they learn that way? A classroom setting should be about making connections, looking at things from new points of view, and hands-on problem solving, not simply taking in information. As a student myself, I found that application is the best form of learning for retention. Rather than telling students what to think, it's important to give them skills on how to think in new ways. To create a positive inquiry-based learning environment in a communication course, I plan to implement a number of strategies in the classroom. One of these strategies is peer reviewing. While I as an instructor may go by a standard rubric when grading, having students review and ask questions of others' work not only teaches them how to give and receive constructive criticism, but it also gives students a chance to understand the quality of their work from someone else's point of view. I also find that providing time for students to brainstorm in groups will help them to formulate new, out-of-the-box ideas and rationalize how they choose to complete an assignment. When I start teaching next year, I don't want to teach students for the semester, but for life. When I inevitably receive the dreaded, when am I ever going to use this question, I'll be able to show my students not only why the course material is important to them, but how they can take the sense of curiosity they've developed from the course and apply it to their future classes, jobs, and personal relationships. In short, I don't just want my students asking, why are we doing this? I want them to eagerly wonder, what can I learn next? Thank you.